In this video, let's look into the PHP object injection. So as we could see, we have the first element which is Java being displayed. So basically what exactly is happening here is, we input the serialized data and at the back end, this data gets unserialized and see what happens. So basically here, uh, whatever the request that has been given by the user is taken in and uh, we check, we unserialize the data that is given and we check if the data is an array and if it is an array, it would display the first element of the array. So basically going, going ahead with this uh, PHP file, so basically we have a class called the delete file which has got two, two different functions and uh, basically which is the function construct and the function destruct. So in the destruct function, so what we are basically generally doing is we are uh, pointing to the cache file so as to uh, basically delete, uh, check first we check the existence of the file and if it is available we would delete the file or else we would give out an error. So coming back to our browser, let's go ahead and check out the temp folder. So we here have two different files that is the test.txt and test1.txt. So let's try to delete the test.txt file using the serial, uh, serialized data. So we are going to be creating a PHP file that would give us the uh, serialized input that uh, we could put it uh, uh, in the URL there. So we would uh, actually create, write our own PHP file for it but then we are just copying uh, from our main object.php file. So basically we are cr creating a class called delete file under which we are again going to be going ahead and creating uh, an, uh, an object. So we give it as dollar $d plus new space delete file and then we are gonna print the CLIs of the dollar $d The dollar d would point to the cache file of uh, the uh, test.txt file. So once this is done, so we are going to save this file. So basically, this would give out the uh, serialized uh, data that we could uh, put it across. So let's run this file. So once we get the serialized data, Let's copy this and paste it onto the URL. So in the array parameter, let's just paste this. So once this is done, we get to see the message that says deleted the test.txt file. So let's go and check if it is deleted. Yes, it is deleted successfully. So let's try out some more files that we could delete. Let's try to delete uh, probably the index file. So for which we would use dot dot slash index dot php and accordingly let's change the value 8 to the length that of the file. So here in this scenario it would be 12. So starting from the dot dot slash till the PHP it would count to be 12 so hence we deleted even the index.php file successfully so let's go ahead and try if we could delete uh, another file so now let's 
see if we could delete the login.php file so even this got deleted successfully so let's refresh it yes so we don't see the login.php file so hence we were successfully able to perform this attack